camera on here anymore. <laughs> you don't film me anymore. I do. It's not cool enough for you. You don't channel. go to the track this anymore. You don't come in the shop. It's weird. You even invited me. I did. <laughs> oh, there she is, boys. It needs a little loving. I mean, it's brand new, though. But, uh, yeah, she's kind of ugly at the this moment. This is not the vehicle I thought we were in. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the next video. <laughs> Things chopping. Guys, 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 welcome back to the channel. Woo! We are in a new vehicle. I told you guys we we're getting something. So, um, this isn't. I've been thinking about getting one of these for a while, actually. If you guys remember, I bought a 2016 when I opened Coyote Direct, but I decided to sell it and use that money towards uh, the shop, essentially, because we're brand new. We're still pretty new um, but I've been wanting one of these trucks but every time I went to look at one like an 18 to 20 I was like man everybody's already done everything with them you know people have been crazy fast with them everybody's done built motors twin turbos people are doing 400s now I mean everything's been done not to say you can't do anything new with them I'm just saying like everyone's done a lot with them already they've been out a while because essentially they were out for a while but nobody really knew what you could do with them until people started modding them and then people decided well it's pretty much a four-wheel drive mustang they're really not even that heavy especially because you got the aluminum bodies and so you know people started going crazy with them and especially i feel like this last one to two years it's been it's been really crazy i mean these things so popular um and then the new ones came out the 21s the gen 4 coyote and uh they made some changes to them and really the only thing you could do and what a lot of people did was buy a 21 that was already whippled because it came with the whipple tune um because if you didn't buy it with the whipple and the whipple tune well then you pretty much just got stuck with a stock 21 22 gen 4 coyote truck which is still cool but you just couldn't do much with them so i feel like they were popular but really only for their looks because nobody was making power with them because if you have a Whipple tune, well, it's super rich and it's on pump gas and doesn't make that good of power. So, in light of recent events, uh, SCT unlocked it, which Lund doesn't tune SCT, so Lund hasn't really got to do much with these Gen 4s. And just recently, I want to say literally two weeks ago, HP Tuners unlocked the 21 to 22 PCM, and now anyone with HP Tuners can essentially go in and tune a 21 to 22 and we actually i'll talk about that truck uh here probably in the next video or two we'll be tuning it um but if you guys saw we did a 2023 twin turbo f-150 super super nice build but right when we finished it couldn't tune it unless you had sct and i was kind of weary of using sct and literally the week we finished it we finished it a little bit ago but like once we got fluids and this that everything sorted out um, went to obviously look into tuning. SCT was the only one available. Boom, literally that day or next day, HP tuners unlocks. I'm like, cool, we are good to go. Perfect timing, because I've been stressing about it, because I had heard through the grapevine, if you will, that HP tuners was gonna become available, but nobody knew when. And that truck is a 2023, but it, damn, that person just ran that red light. Wow, rude. Uh, that truck is a 2023, but its build date is late, late 2022, so it's actually, it's unlocked. We're gonna start tuning it here in the next couple of days. So I'm really excited about that. But anyways, now that Lund can tune them and everybody with HP tuners can tune them, I was like, man, this is a good time to get a Gen 4 Coyote. Nobody really knows, you know, what they can do. Obviously, people have blown these up already. People have already got built motors for these already. Um, what the issues are, I kind of know some of them, but I don't know them for sure, but I do know some issues. 
and because uh, I've been paying attention to like the Facebook page, I was about to say forums, but no one really, I mean, there is forums, but no one uses them like they used to. It's really Facebook pages that are a lot bigger these days. But anyways, been kind of paying attention to, it, and I'm like, man, I think this is a good time to get in on it. Whether it's a good platform or not, it's a good time to get in on it, understand what it is, what they can do, and try and push one myself and uh, kind of build it our way. Dude, screen, let's go. Holy smokes, I never honked the horn, but my goodness, this person taking forever. So anyways, I went and picked up a single cab 2023 F-150, and I'm really excited about it. Now, you can get an XL or an XLT, it's just an XL, but it has some really nice amenities because the thing with getting a single cab, unless you want to get raped and buy a Shelby truck, which is completely overpriced, um, and I say that because you're just paying for the Shelby name. Like, the stuff that's done to the truck you could do for way less. Just saying. Personal opinion. Actually, it's facts. It's not personal opinion. But anyways, um, even these XLs, they have really nice features, actually. This, this thing has lane assist, or lane keep, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's got a nice screen. doesn't have the big one. It's got backup camera. I mean, like, pretty much all the amenities you would need these days without getting too crazy. And part of the cluster is digital. I mean, it's not like the full digital cluster, but it's still nice. But anyways, I'm gonna do a full video, like breakdown of the truck, why I chose this specific spec, because there's one thing that's completely different, not completely, but there's one thing that's different on this truck compared to what everybody else has been doing. So, and I bought it for that reason, actually. So anyways, I was looking for a little bit, picked this one up, got it for a pretty good price. The market's not that great, so it's a good time to buy it. Interest rates do suck right now, for warning. Um, but it's 2023, single cab, short bed, F-150, and uh, here at Coyote Direct, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna tear this thing apart. <laughs> so um, pretty excited though because we just finished that black one, which came out so good. I'm really interested to see how it tunes. And then we have two more scheduled here in the next couple weeks to get dropped off, well, next month to get dropped off. So I'm really excited to see what these Gen 4s can do, and then this personal shop truck, my truck, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna really push this thing and try some different stuff on it, obviously, to kind of help the community and help our customers try new things with them. So, I'm really excited about it. I just wanna do a short video because we just picked it up. We got it at a Gene Messer in Lubbock. They had it, so we just picked it up, got it home, and uh, back to work we go. So, I got some more videos coming, obviously, on the truck but I gotta get going. So if you guys need any parts or installs, hit me up sales at coyotedirect.com. Check out the website. We'll see you guys on the next one.